because the thyroid gland is a fairly superficial organ. You should utilize a 7.5 mHz linear probe. Now, if you want to try transverse first, just below this hyoid bone, it should be skinned above the clavicle. So, I skin with a 7.5 MHz linear probe. This 7.5 MHz probe is 5 cm tall. It is difficult to depict the entire thyroid gland within 5 cm. Quite difficult. That's why the test is done through dual image. Scan this once. And connect this one. If you do a transverse scan on this side once, a picture like this will be drawn. Then the right lobe of the thyroid gland is visible here. The left lobe is shown here. The left and right lobes are connected by the isthmus. It will appear thin. So this is what it looks like. In the middle this is what becomes a trachea. At the back is the esophagus. It is not well observed because of trachea. And almost attached to the thyroid gland. What you see here on the lateral side. Right common carotid artery. What is outside of this? That is the case with jugular veins. Similarly, left common carotid artery of the left jugular vein, the anatomical structure is symmetrical. You can see them side by side. What is the normal size of the thyroid gland? The front and rear diameters are less than 2 centimeters. And the left and right width is less than 3 centimeters. And in the longitudinal scan, the end must be less than 6 centimeters. It is the size of a normal thyroid gland. So look closely at both thyroid glands. Start from the bottom and go up. Looking all the way through. What tumors are in the thyroid gland? Or lymph nodes around the thyroid gland? By looking at these things, you will make an assessment of your thyroid gland. As for the thyroid gland, we will examine the thyroid gland using a 7.5 MHz linear probe just below the hyoid bone. What you see on the right now is the right lobe of the thyroid gland, and this is the left lobe of the thyroid gland. The very narrow area where the right and left lobes attach to each other is the isthmus of the thyroid gland, or isthmus. And what you see here is the trachea. It corresponds to trachea. You can't see it behind here, but the esophagus is on the back here. Now, because it is difficult to depict the thyroid gland all at once on a 7.5 MHz linear probe, let's try to split it into dual images. Let's split it in half. This left lobe is also divided in half. Let's check this and see if both sides are symmetrical. Left lobe, right lobe. And then here is the isthmus. A round cystic pattern seen on the thyroid gland line. This corresponds to the common carotid artery. The one on the outside corresponds to the internal jugular vein. Common carotid artery. It corresponds to the right jugular vein. So too. Left common carotid artery. It corresponds to the left jugular vein. So. What is the normal size of the thyroid gland? Anterior and posterior diameter of less than 2 cm is normal. And it can be said that the normal size is less than 3 cm in the left and right width. Another thing, it should be seen in the longitudinal scan, but it is said that the normal length is up to 6 cm. So, the anatomy of the thyroid gland comes out. Take a peek at this from below, looking all the way to the top. Look to see if there are any tumors in the left and right lobes of the thyroid gland. You can also see the relationship to the blood vessels in the neck. Now we are looking at the cross section of the common carotid artery. If you are going to do a longitudinal scan of this, it will look like this image. So you will be able to see the color ultrasound image seen from the end. Right common carotid artery, 
then internal jugular vein, and the left common carotid artery, and internal jugular vein.